Hey everybody, this is Deepak Khadri and I welcome you all to my Upside Down Lab. In today's video, we are going to take a look at Upside Down Labs by M version 1.5 and we'll see how easy it is to use and we'll take a look at what are its capabilities. Now without wasting much time, let's get started. Before starting with the main content, I would like to thank Osh Park and Rufusini for sponsoring these perfect purple PCBs. If anybody is interested in buying the Biomamp, I sell them on Dindy, link is in the description. Thanks. Taking a look at the board now. This is how it looks fully assembled. It is using TL074CN which is a quad op-amp with JFET inputs. This is how it looks from the back. Sig X45 means the signal coming from these leads the bioamp electrodes will be amplified 45 times then there are total four possible ways to use the output coming from bioamp you can either hear the signal on your earphones using this earphone jack you can use a speaker amplifier and connect the inputs to these two pins you can create a filter circuit and further amplify the signal using the raw output coming from these pins or my personal favorite is to use this 3.5 mm headphone jack which comes attached with the biom version 1.5 you can use your mobile phone or your laptop to record visualize and listen to the signals directly on your pc or your mobile the biom does not come with a 9 volt battery so we will require a 9 volt battery to start using the device now to start using the biom you have to perform three very simple steps Take the electrode that are supplied with the kit and put them on any muscle. I am going to put them here. So make sure the non sticky part is against the direction of the hair so that when you pull the electrode it doesn't rip your hairs. So I will put the electrode here and the second one just beside the first one. Here. Now take the third electrode and you have to put it where there is no interference from the main muscle. Either you can put behind the hand or you can put this on your elbow. I am going to put this on the back side of my hand. Now that electrodes are done. The alligator clips that come with biomp are of two same color and one different color. The different color is either red or black. You have to connect this to the reference or the electrode which is connected to either back of your hand or to the elbow and connect the other two electrodes to your muscle. The electrode part is done and with that the first part is complete. For the second step, take the battery and connect it to the bioamp. Now the third part is where you have to connect your earphones to this earphone jack or you can use the speaker output, the row output or this 3.5 mm headphone jack to record or visualize it on your laptop or your PC. Now when I flex my muscle I can hear the sound on the earphones. Now let's take a look at how to record and visualize the signal on PC and your mobile phone. Now go to play store on your mobile phone and search for spike recorder and install the app from here. After installing open the app, allow for recording and you can see that we can visualize anything that a phone can record through its mic. Now what we are doing here, the bioamp will convert our body into an audio output device and we will see the audio on our spike recorder software. Now plug this to the device and electrodes to a muscle just like we discussed and turn on the device 
This regular pattern which almost looks like a sine wave is the 50 hertz noise. You are seeing this because I am standing very next to this AC main plug and when I take my hand away from the AC mains plug you can see the you can see the signal is much weaker now and when I flex you can see flex 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 you can see that the signal is much cleaner and much better for getting clean signals it is highly recommended that you sit away or record your signals away from a AC mains plug you can also record the signal by pressing this record button and you can also see FFT here so when I flex you can see that when I flex the signal is on the screen you can visualize it or if you want you can click this record button allow for recording and you can record the signal afterwards it will save a wave file which you can import with python and do your processing and all the cool stuff with that now that we have looked at spike recorder mobile application let's take a look at how to use it on your pc to record the same wave files and visualize the signal here i have started the spike recorder software on my pc notice the signal when i flex my muscle whenever i flex the muscle you can see a signal on the screen and i am also recording the signal with the video so you will be able to hear what you will be able to record when you use the device I'll connect the same color electrodes or the alligator clips to electrodes to the electrodes on my eye and the different color electrode to the electrode behind my ear. Now I will start the device and when I move my eye you can see the deflection. When I move the left eyebrow nothing changes but when I move my right eyebrow you can see the signal on the screen now to record ECG signals I have attached the electrodes I have attached the signal electrodes close to my heart and the reference electrode is above my right leg and I'll start the device now you can see some EMG artifacts when I breathe Let's try to change the frequency band. I'll make 0 to 67. The ECG signal is much clear, cleaner now, and you can see all the peaks PQRST. This is much more like an ECG now. Let's look at how to record EEG. When you place the electrodes above your Indian, you can directly tap into the visual cortex and see the fluctuations in the wave when you open and close your eyes. Here we'll just place the electrodes on the forehead because there is no way I'll be able to connect the electrodes to my uh, to the back of my head at this moment. So place the electrode here. To record the EEG, let's change some configurations. Go to settings and set the bandpass filter from 0 to 35 or max 0 to 45. Now 
when I close my eyes you can see the signal changing recording EEG with such a small device is very complex and literally very hard because EEG signals are in micro volt range now let's take a look at how to visualize and record the signal mm -hmm.